let's continue. So, expand this equation uh, by applying this to this free body diagram. Now, when we do some moment equation, you always have to define positive direction. Okay, positive going clockwise or counterclockwise. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do uh, clockwise positive, right? Okay, so about joint B, which force has a moment, which force creates a moment? No. This force, this 100 Newton known force, well, it has a moment, right? Because this 100 Newton has this line of action, okay? Straight up, vertically. So, the distance, the shortest distance between this line of action and this point, this joint B, is this distance right here which is exactly one meter. Okay, so that's easy enough. So, my first moment term is from this 100 Newton times one meter. Okay? And positive negative, well, you use your right hand rule. Right? So this, right, this force, 100 force, goes up, so it follows the positive direction. So, Right. And the direction of this moment right, is going into the board. Okay, but you don't have to worry about that because you know we're just using the, the magnitude. Okay, so it's not a vector. So this is positive. Okay. Next, second term. FCE. Okay, that's the unknown. Right. So FCE will create a moment about point B. Right. So FCE times right, F times D. So D, the shortest distance is this guy right here, okay? which is this length of BC. But knowing that this triangle is 45, 45, 90 triangle, so one meter means this is one meter tall. Right? So BC is one meter, so that's one. Positive negative, well, according to this direction that I have assumed earlier, okay, I assume that this goes through right, this means that it will create a counterclockwise moment. So this means that this is negative moment. Okay? So that's it. Alright? These two guys, F B D and B E, create no moment. Okay, or if you like, you can add these two terms in there. Okay, as the d times the d term, the distance is zero. Okay, again, s d e times right zero. So the moment from these two guys are just zero. So just drop them. All right. So just crunch numbers. That's all. All right. The rest is just a piece of cake. So move this term over, so FCE turns out is 100 Newton. Okay, so FCE is positive 100 Newton. Positive means it's important. Positive means your originally assumed direction is correct. Right? So positive means direction correct. So FCE does indeed point to the right. So now we can come back to this real picture and draw the actual direction of FCE. Okay? So FCE is 100. Okay? So now FCE going to the right means that CE member is under tension. Again, using Newton's third law to help you figure out. Okay, so CE is under tension. Okay, so now we can come back to this. So this 100 tension. Okay, so here's the general procedure, right? So basically, this is it. Right? You apply some moment equation to some point, right? And then just expand that 
and pick pick a good point and pick a clever point so that it can eliminate the rest of the unknowns. Okay, let's continue on. I found C E. Let's let's find well, one of the other two. Um let's see, I'm going to um uh, let's say B D or B E it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's let's find B D. Okay? So this guy right here. Okay, raise this. Alright. You can use exactly exactly the same three body diagram. Okay? So except now, second time, the unknown is F B D. At this point, this is no, sure. You have calculated this to be 100 newtons. Okay, so same three body diagram, trying to find BD. Now, obviously, we cannot some moment about point B again because this disappeared, right? We want this term, this FBD, to survive this equation. So, pick another point where FBD exists. Okay. But at the same time, this this guy FBE will disappear. Okay. So, which point would that be? Let's see. Point A. No good. Okay. Because joint A, if there's some movement about joint A, both BD and BE will appear. They will create a moment. Okay. What about joint C? It's no good either, right? B E and B D each will create a moment. So the so both terms will appear in the equation. So that's no good. That's it, we're around a point, we're around a joint here, A, B, C, and none of them is good. Well, here's kind of the trick. You don't have to take a moment about a joint that you see. You can pick a joint outside of this free body diagram okay, that you don't see. You can pick any of the joints here in this truss okay, that is outside of this section. Okay, that will work. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, we're not going to choose A, B, or C. Well, what about E? Okay, E will be like somewhere, somewhere here, okay? If we pick joint E, look at this, FBE passes through joint E. CE also passes through joint E. So these two guys disappear right away, okay? Although CE is known, okay? But uh, we only really care about eliminating the BE. So BE will disappear, okay? What's left is BD and this 100 okay, will create a moment about point E. No problem. So joint E okay, will be a good joint to pick some moment about. Equal zero. And just to help you visualize it, I'm going to kind of draw the dash line. Right? Dash line because these two dash lines really don't belong in this free body diagram. Okay? So these three members in black are my free body. They, they make up my free body diagram. These two, it's just so sort of temporary. Right? So that's my E right here. Okay. So that's why I use dash lines. Right. So some moment about joint E, and once again, define your positive direction. Uh, I'm going to use positive clockwise again. So now. Just expand it, just like before. So, again, this 100 Newton times D, the shortest distance, about joint E now. So joint E, okay, this 100 okay, is 2 meters from joint E, the shortest distance. That's 2 meters so times 2 now. Positive. Okay? So, next, BD, my unknown. Okay? F, B, D, 
times. I'm going to extend this line of action. So the shortest distance between this line of action and joint E is this distance, vertical distance, which is 1 meter. So FBD times 1 meter, positive and negative. FBD about joint E will create a positive moment, clockwise moment. So it remains positive. Okay. Well, keep going. FBE passes through joint E, so it disappears from this equation. Okay. FBE creates no moment about joint E. That thing goes for CE. So that's it. Go zero. Crunch numbers. So FBD equals move this guy over negative 200 newton. Okay, what does negative mean? Just right before, I told you whatever result that you get, the sign okay, will tell you whether your assumption of this direction was correct or not. Negative means that my assumption was incorrect. This direction needs to be flipped. So in reality, this arrow right here is actually pointing to the left. Okay? Pointing to the left means, according to Newton's law, BD member is under compression. Okay? And 200 Newton compression. Okay? Is this for BD? Okay, simple as that. Alright, so the kind of trick here is pick a joint. Right? I've just picked a joint outside of my you know, usual free body diagram. Okay. Next, the last force to be found is FBE. Okay, let's look at that.